In the Haddonfield School District, moving from advanced pre-calc to AP calc is considered especially heinous. In Canman County, the dedicated man who challenged this arbitrary rule is named Max Humes. This is his story. Hey guys, it's Max here. Now, growing up, I moved all over the place, but by the end of grade school, I was living in the town of Haddonfield, New Jersey. Living in Haddonfield was a great experience. I made tons of friends, had an awesome high school running career, and got to attend Haddonfield Memorial High School, which is one of the best public schools in New Jersey. Now, at HMHS, by the time that you're a junior, you're most likely in one of three math courses, either PST, Advanced Pre-Calc, or Accelerated Pre-Calc. When I was in 11th grade, I was in Advanced Pre-Calc. Advanced Pre-Calc covered similar material to Accelerated Pre-Calc, but didn't go over a few subjects that the Excel students did, and in my opinion, moved at the pace of a snail who just downed three of Taco Bell's new naked ch chicken chalupas. At the time, I felt like I wasn't being challenged by the pace and difficulty in the class. Often, I'd understand a concept that we would learn on the first day that we were taught it, but we would still spend maybe three or four days in class learning it. I was getting grades in the high 90s on almost every test that I took, and a lot of the time, I was even ahead of the class once I had started studying for the Math 2 SAT subject test. Of course, having a class which didn't require all too much effort on my part was fun, but I actually enjoyed learning and wanted to challenge myself more than I already was. Because of this, I decided to talk to my school counselor, Mr. Seaman, about moving to AP Calculus AB. After seeing my great improvement in grades in math from my freshman year and knowing me to be a dedicated student, he supported the idea and told me who I should go to to request this change. Now, here's where we introduce the antagonists of the story. For the purposes of privacy, I'll call them Matherin Keeley, who is the assistant principal, and Bativan Cerns, who is the head of the math department for the school. When I went to meet with Mrs. Keeley and Mr. Cerns, I figured given my success in the class and the backing of my advising counselor, this would be an easy and short process. But with hardly any time to lay out my argument, I was shot down. They told me that due to past unsuccessful move-ups with students in the same position as mine, the school had made a policy against it. With little thought or effort, I decided that I had done all that I could do and resigned to the school's rule. I went back to advanced pre-calc and accepted my state of perpetual boredom in the class. Alright, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and if- Nah, I'm just kidding. After a few months, I got fed up with being forced to take a class that I wasn't challenging myself in, so in late April of that year, I decided I would fight the power. I knew that nothing would happen if I didn't change my approach to convincing the school. For planning to meet with Keeley and Cerns again, I had to come up with a well-thought-out plan, so for the next day, I carefully constructed my argument. I spent at least a good three hours scanning the student handbook for my school and even more time on the internet finding articles as to why I had the right to move up for my senior year. When I went back to meet up with the two, I felt armed to the teeth with reasons as to why they should allow me to move up. I was so ready, and I got shot down again. But this time I was not ready to resign. I continued to push for this change with respectful and well thought out arguments every time that I asked for a new meeting or sent a new email. In fact, I actually found some of the old ones that I sent. Wow, maybe I was a bit too feisty. But either way, every time I talked to the school, I felt like I'd have better luck talking to my bonsai tree. Every time I came to them, they would shut me down with one sentence, typically along the lines of, it's a school policy, there's nothing we can do. Despite this, I knew that I was physically allowed to take that class my senior year, so I had persistence. And with my patience, well-thought-out arguments, and level of respect that I tried to keep in all my dialogues with the school, in late May, I was allowed to take the class. I had a lot of fun in AP Calc and learned at the pace that I felt was much better suited for my skill level in mathematics. Though not many people will find themselves in my exact situation, I hope that you took away from this story that if there's something or someone standing in the way of your goals, you should always find a way to fight for what is right for you. In a time when you're setting up your future, it's important to remember to be respectful and order your arguments respectfully. And above all, always remember to take your time and never rush something. Because when you rush something that's important, you'll never come out with the quality product that you wanted. 